We are headed to Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's to get our groceries. And we were gonna show you just kind of what we get there and then maybe kind of like how we cook them and stuff. Um, because we tried to, I'm not here lately, but we definitely tried to um, cook every night. And we cook pretty healthy, so we were just gonna kind of show you some of our Trader Joe favorites and some of our favorite recipes. Okay, so how much are we gonna do this under? Do this under 100? Week's groceries and under a hundred dollars. Okay, so we just went to Trader Joe's, got our week's worth of groceries, and I was betting that it was gonna be 110. It ended up being a whopping 88, 88. $88.88. So we did good. And then I'll um once um, we get to my apartment, I will show you kind of what all we got and how we'll use it in a recipe. Okay, so now I'm gonna kind of go through what groceries we got and kind of how we use them along with like my absolute favorite Trader Joe Trader Joe products. We ended up spending a total of four weeks groceries, $88.88. And that's for both me and Alden. We save money. Um, we eat dinner together and things like that. So it's just easier that we do grocery shopping together. So I'll kind of show you what we got. So first and foremost, my absolute favorite thing from Trader Joe's is the white truffle potato chips like i don't care if you don't like chips or you don't like truffles but like these chips are life-changing i haven't met one single person that hasn't become absolutely obsessed with them so these are my like ride or die chips every time i go to trader joe's i have to get them another trader joe's favorite is the pesto and quinoa so this is so good on anything and everything. Um, we mostly put it on top of like noodles, ravioli, and chicken. But really you could put it, mix it into anything. It says it's great for chicken, fish, or salads. So we love that. Um, and I'm getting a candle. This is a vanilla pumpkin scented candle made with natural soy wax blend lead-free cotton wick so I just love a good candle it's not like I don't have enough already but anything to make the house smell like fall and then veggies um I've got a bunch of veggies in both of these bags I can literally load up on a week or two just veggies and spend absolutely nothing so it's the best quality vegetables plus it's so affordable these are just cans of tuna, just easy things to keep stocked in the pantry. I got some beef broth. I am going to, one night this week, whip out my crock pot finally, first of the season, and do um, chuck roast with potatoes and uh, carrots. So I got that to make that with. More veggies potatoes for the uh, roast. I love getting my K-Cups at um, Trader Joe's because I get 12 for like $4. So it's definitely the best price for how much coffee you're getting and it's really good coffee. Um, I tried for a while, it's even cheaper if you get the ground bags of coffee. And I tried for a while, let me see if I have them in here. I try my best to be as green as possible, and so for a while I was using these recyclable um, K-Cups, and you would just put the ground coffee in there. And it's definitely more affordable and eco-friendly, but in the morning I'm like as lazy as can be, so. 
washing those out was always a task. Okay, for a little late night indulgence, this is a Trader's chocolate salted caramel mug mix. Like, okay, I have never had this before, but we walked by it and decadent chocolate cake with gooey salted caramel center. Like, say no more. And then, um, I always, 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 every time I go to the grocery store, get chicken sausage because when in doubt, there's so many things you can make with it. I like um, either eating it in the morning with like eggs or I like mixing it up with like sweet potatoes and Brussels sprouts just in a pan. It takes like five minutes and it's the easiest, healthiest little dish. And then lastly in here, a Trader Joe's must is their dollar wine. So I don't know, I've heard a couple of like funny stories of why it's um, price so low but it's like a dollar dollar ninety nine and it's good wine so it's just good to keep that stocked okay in this bag um we have eggs carrots that's gonna go in the rows peppers this is really just a ton of veggies avocados because avocados go with everything tomatoes I don't eat tomatoes I won't touch them with a 30 foot pole but um, actually that's a lie. I would eat those with a caprese salad with some mozzarella. That's about it. Spinach, I love spinach. Um, it's good mixing it up with eggs or just having it aside with chicken. Um, ooh. I'm gonna have a little Asian persuasion one night. Okay, so I'm gonna do, this is cauliflower rice, a must from Trader Joe's and use that as the base and then Trader Joe's, mix that with Trader Joe's shrimp stir fry. So it's shrimp and veggies, nice and frozen, easy to pull out. And then for a little side with that, um, Trader Joe's pork goiza pot stickers. So that'll be an easy, just like Asian night. So cauliflower rice, stir fry, and then a little side of dumplings. And then last but not least, um, I always have to have frozen chicken. I think it's better just to get frozen chicken because um, if I don't already have it frozen, then it just sits in the refrigerator. And this way, this won't go bad and I can just pull it out whenever I want um, for an easy dinner. So that is my Trader Joe's haul. These are definitely um, my favorites. And again, it's so affordable. You can see kind of how much groceries I got all for $88. And this will last me for the week. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in my next video.